Clinton. So let's imagine President Clinton. If she replaces Ginsburg and Breyer, she will do so with much, much, much younger justices who then will likely have a very long tenure in the court in front of them. Okay, that will be quite significant to the court. If she replaces Justice Kennedy with a pick, it's going to be someone who, I mean, Justice Kennedy is a swing vote. Sometimes he votes with the more conservative wing of the court, sometimes with the more liberal wing of the court. And again, I'm using those terms in their, sen in their interpretive sense rather than their partisan sense. Um, but Hillary Clinton would not appoint someone who would be a swing in those cases. It would be someone who was always very firmly on the side of those who interpret the constitu Constitution more expansively. So we would be talking a about a very marked shift. It would be a, a very a court that was very, very liberal and took a very expansive view of the judicial role. What would we have in a Trump court? Who knows? <laughs> um, um, I think we know for sure, I, I, I could say with confidence, I don't know who Hillary Clinton would appoint, but I can say with confidence the profile or the kind of constitutional approach she would want. Trump, I'm not so sure. He's offered a list, and his list is populated with people who would take a more Scalia-esque approach to the Constitution. Who knows if he would choose from that list or not? He's obviously not bound to do so. I think it would be maybe more of a mixed bag. Um, I think maybe Trump would appoint some that were more in the mold of Scalia, maybe some more in the mold of Kennedy. Who knows? I think we may well end up with a, a moderate to more conservative court um, on judicial role. I, I, I think it is safe to say it probably wouldn't be as um, hard to the, the uh, left-leaning side on the approach to constitutional questions as, as Hillary would.